All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, we got some bones to pick, man, and we picking them clean to the bone, all the way to the bone, man. Listen, I know a lot of people not going to agree with what I'm saying. A lot of people going to tell me I need to adjust and deal with it. But, hey, them same people didn't adjust and deal with it when they was crying. So, you know what I'm saying? We got, you know, it's a little bit of something on both sides. Listen, bro, we, we got plenty to talk about. And uh, we want to, I just really want to know. I want to know who's right. I want to know who's right. I want to know who right in this whole thing, man. So if y'all don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video. Because every time y'all like the video, it helps us get to that oh-so-coveted 100K. We only nine grand away from the 100K, man. Let's get that 100K, okay? Like my boy, my boy No Limit Sean, man. Why Sean that anyway, man? That, that dude was on the rise and then, you know, we ain't really hear from him no more, man. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Nothing but love to him, though, man. That dude was a killer on the court, man. One of the first people that ever did all the the Steph Curry at the park and stuff like that, man. He was killing them type of videos before them joints was popular, man. But, hey, it is what it is. Anyway, man, let's just get right into the news without further ado, man. Uh, I don't want to hold y'all up. One thing I have been doing is I've been investing in the stream, so y'all going to see some stuff during the stream. Y'all going to be like, dang, that's hard. But we investing in this whole thing because I'm trying to take this joint to the next level, and you can't really do too much with news. So I figured I'd do what I can do with the news, man. First things up. Anonymous 2K TV says, we did it. The two-time, two-time, two-time streamed part, uh, partner streamer. Uh, thank you all so much for the love and support on Twitch. Man, I just woke up and I must say today is going to be, it's amazing. I'm the reason that these people fired up this season. NBA 2K is the family I never had truly grateful that's my boy man anonymous 2k tv one of the most genuine people in the community man like i said he can't he he was already partnered in the beginning gave up his channel gave it to somebody because he said he was gonna be out of here for a little while you know he had to do his thing with his little girl and all that and now here we are he's back sometimes bro you can't you just can never you can't you you know what i'm saying if you if you like doing something and you got a dream man you can pursue that dream and it's not to your detriment do it I say do what you do and do it like you're doing it, like you're doing it for TV, man. That's what, that's what it is, man. I got to give a big shout out to my guy. Link down in the description. Go watch the stream, support him, all that good stuff. Now, to the big thing. Everybody talking about they quitting the 2K community and stuff, man. Your boy Chalk said if everybody is quitting the 2K community, let them. More opportunity for you and more opportunities to eat. Take the free motivation. I ain't gonna cap to you, Chalk. That's some good information to tell everybody. Let me tell y'all, some of y'all biggest streamers and some of y'all biggest people, Rat, AKA Annoying TV, uh, Duke Dennis, Ticino, uh, all these guys, man, ATL, all, a lot of these guys grew and blew up during the 2Ks that people said were the worst and the most garbage and the most trash ones and all of this stuff, man. Y'all be saying 17, 18, and 19 were some of the worst ones and some of the most garbages. And most people, a lot of people, a lot of people blew up during those 2Ks. Like I said, Ticino and all them guys, one of them, man. G Sice, all them, man. They, they, they stuck with it, persevere. Do your thing, man. Look, ignore the noise. Don't pay attention to what nobody else say. Do your thing. And if you think that you can make it, you, hey, go out there and make it, man, because some of these 2Ks right here, you know, I mean, like the tutorial and stuff videos might not be getting too much because, hey, everybody know how to be good. Just make a 5'8 and do what this dude right here is doing right here. Just doggone left, right on the death. But other than that, man, you know what I'm saying? You should be good to go. Uh, uh, up next, also, Chalk says, everything has a skill gap no matter how easy or broken something is. Someone can do it better. And then, your boy, this is what I always say, so we get down, but to a certain extent, all that you showing with them girls be getting my name bent. Showing you. Anyway, y'all drop that song down in the comment section, man. Wardy. Hey, look. So my man says, to a certain extent, but you but you have to think at some point, skill stops, uh, still stops coming into play, and what's causing the other person, as you say, do it better, is their IQ and common sense, and the way that they adapt to not necessarily, the, uh, the way that they adapt to, not necessarily their skill, and I agree 100% with that, man. When this game right here, skill is out the window. It's just like, like your boy Quavo say, man, everybody's chicken, Everybody got all the dribble moves. They said they're gonna, they were going they, they, they were trying to stop people from doing certain things. The best dribble moves are already in the game. It's left, stop, rock, rock the cradle, right, stop, 
rock the cradle, come back. So it don't matter. Like, like it's just like this, bro. I, I get what he's saying, but uh, uh, everybody can shoot in this game, whether they're timing it well or not. I understand that there's a skill gap, but the skill gap is that all my shots gonna be green while all your shots gonna be white. But guess what? They count three. So it's like, I understand that everything like that right now look at that man i'm standing right in front of him he is there's there's no reason that he should even think that he can take this shot bro and then somebody gonna be like my hands not up but it's still say a nine percent contest so either i contested the shot or not you don't even have to take good shots in this game bro you don't even have to take good shots all you got to do is shoot the ball and it's gonna go in but and like i said that counts for three just like us working for a wide open three so I get what you're saying, the skill gap, but it's really just the IQ for uh, Brute to know the call back doors and stuff like that, and I still don't understand why they didn't let me go up with that, because that was a bad shot, but I get punished for my bad shot, but then him, he get rewarded for his, but hey, he gonna get rewarded with an L, so it really doesn't matter. I understand what Chalk trying to say, but in this situation, I don't totally agree. There is a skill gap, but now the skill gap is down to IQ. There's no skill gap anymore. It's just the IQ gap. Who knows how to play the situation better? And I'm not going to call it a skill gap because if er some people always say, well, shoot, it's easy for you too. Yeah, it could be easy for you too. But at the same time, if the goal, like let's say like they drop a nine foot rim. The rim is nine foot, man. Everybody's dunking. Nobody really going to stand out. You're going to have some people that's going to stand out. Like I said, trays up, splash down. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You see me telling them bye-bye. My shot got to be open. You know what I'm talking about? It's just like, what's next? Bye-bye. Bye. I'm telling them, hey, we up out of here, man. But I get what he's saying. The little skill gap to everything. But really, once the skill gap is gone, it's really down to IQ and winning between the margins. Just like what we did right here, bro. This is just an all the IQ play. We know that they don't want to come back down. And we see you so gamut got him i'm here i'm we're not gonna let him get a three he tries to throw it away he tried to throw it and we set up that play right there and he can have that too because if he get the two we still coming down and we're gonna win the game with three so it, it, it really doesn't matter but that's an iq play that's not necessarily a uh what's it called the play so I, I get what they're saying man but at the same time i feel like right now it's really down to iq but you can really only do so much with iq when the person doesn't even have to try hard they're not you have to try hard to stop bye 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 trays up splash down you have to try hard to stop something that they don't have to try hard to do and that's where the skill gap comes in but in five on five uh, that's what he primarily plays, so I get it what he's saying, man. But like I said, we still won 60 games yesterday and lost like four, but it's still those four that you lose. It just sucks, man. Um, you got your boy Power DF coming up, man. He says, I'm so tired of hearing people arguing about screens, ISO, blah, 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 uh, every, every single year. Shut up and let everybody play how they want to play. Thank you. Now, I get what he's saying about playing how you want. Let, let people play how they want to play. I'm one of those people that's a proponent of, hey, let people play any way they want to play. But at the end of the day, if I call your, your way of playing trash and you want to call mine trash, that's completely fine with me. I, I really don't care uh, what you think about it. I feel like the running back and forth behind screens is garbage, but... That might be the only way that somebody else can play, man. And like I said, this is the easiest way to play. It's the most efficient way to play. Just like Gambit say, there's so many hidden things. And look at me. I got a 90 percent, so I'm not saying this because I'm trash. That's all I'm saying. I got a 90 win. I'm not saying this because I'm trash. I'm saying this because I know what I'm talking about. But you know, it is what it is, man. I, I feel what he's saying, though. Um, Play how you want to play. I'm never mad at that. But... You're not going to get respect from me if all you're doing is just left writing super fast behind screens and all that. And you're just really exploiting the game and it's fine. That's all a lot of people are doing. Your boy Quavo, Quavo say so nobody, nobody has defense this year. I'm guessing all my locks are getting fried. And I'm, hey, look, man, the locks are getting fried because they won't allow you to play defense right now, man. We're going to run through some tweets. This dude, Jay Easy, went on the, on the tweeting frenzy this morning. Trades up! Splash down. You got to get out here and play some defense, my way. But uh, like I said, even the bottest of bots are running behind screen. So look, this is what Jay Easy said. He went on his uh, tweeting rampage, and, and this is what he said. This game, this game, ass went from one of the best 2Ks of all time to possibly the worst. And all they did was change steals in a game that already had near zero defense. If you're a fan of offense only, I get it. But if you're a fan of defense, 
this isn't the game for you. It's just not because you can't play defense in this game. I just don't understand the collision. He doubled down and said, I just don't understand the collision logic in the game. A screener can set an illegal screen three feet away from you and it will suck you in. Two players without the ball can run into each other and there's a recoil animation. Try, I mean, recoil animation. Try to run by a player without the ball. You try to run by the player without the ball and he's gonna bump you. And then he tripled now, but forced a dribbler into the corner and stand there with open arms waiting for him to come back. He dribbles directly into your chest, slides right off and past you. Nothing happens, even with Hall of Fame clamps. Post a man up, you pump fake, and guess what? He slides right off you. And then he got dang tripled up. We, we don't even know how far he done went down the rabbit hole at this point, man. He said, I don't get what we're meant to do on defense when you can't even bump anybody. You can't get consistent bumps, man. They dribbling right into your chest. They dribbling off. Yeah, some people gonna say, I'm stopping people. I'm locking them up. You probably ain't playing nobody with no high win percentage. Once you start getting up in them 80s and 90s and say, I say, bro, you're not, you're not gonna get the bumps that you think that you should get, you know, consistently. But you know, it is what it is. Defense, you can't bump anybody. That's all, that's all we really want. The steals the blocks just let us body people up uh you know when they do dumb shit. stop bailing them out with these trash animations like that's all that's all your boy jay easy saying man and then you know we don't even know what we yet like i said then he went on easy went on to say that's uh my boy my boy eddie came and said if they wanted to nerf steals because they were op uh i you know i i get it but at minimum, they could have buffed the, they could have buffed the chain, the chain, they could have buffed chain. Wait, well, I guess he's saying he, he could have said they, they could have nerfed uh, change of direction or defensive change of direction. They should have buffed uh, defensive change of direction and then nerfed the screens. I don't know why the right stick goes, uh, why the right stick goes for steals instead of allowing you to cut people off. Yes, like in 2K16, it allowed you to cut people off, but they took that out. If you knew where he was going 100% in 2K16, you just flick the stick and he was he would do it and he would get in front of him. But that doesn't happen anymore. The defense is just literally gone out of the game, bro. And then that's what I said. That's another thing. The change of direction and foot planning, bull only impacts defense. Offense can can change direction with zero penalty, and they change. I mean, and they change the speed uh, while in defensive stance also, and think nobody would notice. It's just all bad, bro. And like I said, they really think that people didn't notice that. They changed the they changed the defensive speed while you're in the defensive stance. It used to be way faster, but a lot of people didn't notice it, man. It is what it is. And they said, and then he, you know, like I said again, and they said stamina would impact what you can do. But even with low stamina, it would note with low stamina, it's hard to shoot. I mean, though it's hard to shoot with low stamina, you can still dribble at the same speed and dunk the ball without fear of getting blocked. They are. Uh, that right there is the ultimate bailout. You literally don't have to think. Yeah, you run out of stamina on this game, all you gotta do is just run to the rim. And then, and he said, now, I've only been playing basketball for 35 plus years, but I think even the worst player on the planet can agree that it takes more energy to dunk than to take a jump shot. But maybe it's just me. It could just be me, man. Like I said, maybe I was just extra salty this morning and I felt some type of way. My boy, my boy, JD Rick don't, don't JD Rick don't think so. He said I 100 percent agree. Save for Bigs. As soon as you pump fake once or twice, you get thrown out of position, even with the right, uh, even with the right stick up. If you get caught under the rim, they don't let you jump or contest a shot. It's terrible. Better off letting them fly by and then try to get a chase down block. But they nerfed the chase downs. A lot of people don't even know that. A lot of people don't even know they turned, they nerfed the chase down. And then your boy, one, one of my, one of the best tweets, he told me to calm down. He said, Jay, the whole game is bull You don't have to explain yourself. That's what it is, man. And look at this, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Explain this to me, bro. This is a team of five. They're showing, they said, we got frustrated and we weren't able to rip him, so we jumped him. Look at this! Look, it's a whole team around them and they can't take the basketball! What sense does this make? And I know somebody's gonna say something stupid and compare this to real life, but when have you seen somebody in real life do this? Everybody's around you, there's nowhere to put the ball and then you can't take it. You've never seen anybody dribble this way, dribble that way, dribble this way, dribble that way in real life. You've never seen people just sprint around screens until you got hit by, you never, so let's throw the real life, the real life bull 
out of the window, man. It don't got no place here. There's no real life in the game. There's nobody shooting 75% in real life. There's nobody that's hitting just because they're open in real life. Like, like I said, man, like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I know it turned into a rant video. And I didn't even really mean for that to be the case, man. But the problem is the game, when the game first came out, we was chilling. We had it made in the shade, drinking lemonade, playing spades. You know what I'm talking about? And then they changed the game up. When they changed the game up, it went from being a game where it was just, you know, it's a nice car. You driving down the road with your lady friend and having fun and all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was at that point in time when they took the seals out the first time. But we can still get some steals if you did something stupid. Then they tripled down and now it's a train wreck, a car wreck or whatever you want to call it, bro. That's where we are with this game because of the lack of defense. They nerfed the regular steals. They nerfed defensive stance movement. They nerfed, they nerfed chase downs. They nerfed regular blocks. They nerfed defensive position. They just nerfed everything. There's no point in trying to play defense no more, it seems like. Like, if you want to play good defense, I don't care about getting blocks and steals and none of that. I don't care. I just want to say if I'm in front of the player and he's dribbling right into my chest, right into my chest, I should be able to stop him. There's nobody in the NBA or the history of basketball that's dribbling through people. So let's stop with the whole real life comparison. It doesn't fly here. We know that it's not real basketball. We know it's not a real game. So let's just treat it like this. If you're open, I don't care if you hit your shot, but off the dribble where you literally cannot miss, there should be some type of pit. All we have to do is go back to last year where every shot on the court was a different time. And then you'll see who can really play. I was still shooting 66, 70% last year when every shot on the court was a different time. You wouldn't be able to do the things that you do now if every shot on the court was a different time. But they put it back to the same, everything's the same. And you already know them boys out there doing their thing to win, man. You know what I'm talking about? They got the Z-Man to win. You know they got that. So they got it on them, man. If you know, you know, but come on, man. Y'all gotta do something for the defense. I wanna know who is trash enough because there's a content creator out there that's in these guys' ears that don't play the game that's telling them something needs to be changed. Who was garbage enough to tell them that they need to change the steals again? That's all I wanna know, man. Who, who did it? Who said that we needed that? Change the steals again and change the blocks. I know y'all, y'all can't tell me y'all getting the same amount of chase downs no more, bro. You're not telling me you're getting the same amount of chase down. Should they have ever been that high? You damn right. You got a dude with a 25 layup or a 70 dunk, and I got chase down artists on Hall of Fame, and you telling me it's not activating all of a sudden now? Come on, bro. It's not activating. They needed to slow the centers down. They needed to do some stuff. But this stuff that they did is just OD. I don't understand why they hate defense so much, but I know why. Because offense sell tickets and defense win championships, and the only championship is the one that they got in 2K in the 2K league. I don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna tighten it up for that or what, but I, I don't know, man. Y'all let me know. Am I bugging or not? Are these changes that they made, or this stuff that I'm just I'm just guessing that happened or whatever, man? I don't know. I've been kind of discouraged. I ain't even really been wanting to play lately, bro, because it's just like. At this point, what's the point? You can't stop anybody. It's 100% offense, and then you got screen and roll was already bad enough in the in the, in the beginning. But now they screening and roll and mixing it with the screen and pop, and it's and it's masquerading as IQ. This ain't IQ basketball. They just know that they can do whatever they want. It's a free license to do whatever they want because the center gonna get the rebound because your center's out of position. It's no thought in that. It's just like it's it's literally an exploit. And we can't do nothing about it. And if you want to play the game, then it is what it is, man. But just let us bump these dudes and we'll be good. And they nerf interceptions too. Them joints is down too. And people, well, I don't know, man. I ain't want to talk no more, man. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys,